Hello, welcome back to IT Langi. And we, this is the last uh, session for the Azure Stack Dev Kit. Uh, we so far what we have covered, we have covered uh, uh, first session. We spoke about like you know what is Azure Stack, who is interested, what is it for, where and when and why can be utilized. We went through this in details, and then we moved on to the architecture. We gave an overview, hardware requirements, software requirements, minimal requirements, recommendation from Microsoft and so on and then we moved on to the installation and the deployment task including the powershell command the validation and the integration and then we moved on to the previous session which is the tools and the task deployed like we covered the vs code some powershell some azure cli and the portal itself and we went down to like getting started we gave some scenarios which you can read and mostly through github and the microsoft portal for today we just like cover the updates and the add-ins which microsoft are you know keep improving and releasing so for this one you can see the lifecycle awareness you know like uh, asdk dev kit do not have patches and update process like other microsoft stack deployment each new asdk release require uh, redeployment uh, perform a proper backup and restore use infrastructure as a code like pipeline devops to do that there is a link here you can see it again similar to the previous ones for documentation how we can redeploy that is your stack and hopefully there are some guides which will help you again the life cycle management the key concept is asdk a living deployment that require active uh, redeployment and maintenance process to keep up to speed we have to look after domain password uh, policies aad password expired and uh, policy update and uh, asdk platform update plus the resource itself now uh, i'm just going to highlight give you some highlights which is what i think like asd uh, around password expire policy for example maybe every defaults every 42 days AAD is like uh, 180 days, you can do 90, it's up to you. Platform redeployment once in every three months will be. And then like uh, the RP updates, like the SQL, MySQL dependency need to be updated. Uh, privilege endpoint in lifecycle, like you can basically register, stop, and do the rotation based on your needs again some of these might be driven by your internal policies the last part is you got plenty of these resources are available like you know you can go to aka.microsoft aka and that is the main landing page as you stack if you want documentation as your stack docs if you want to troubleshoot as your stack troubleshooting and some channels videos channel 9 forum voice tools and you got twitters that's all what I had for you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully the Azure Stack will give you some, if you are a coder developer, it might give you some good uh, you know, insight how to utilize it. If you are not, play with it and uh, provide some feedback or see if this tool is uh, fit for purpose or right for you. Thank you for watching and we will catch up later on with something new around Microsoft uh, Stack. Goodbye for now.